June 13th. Profit and Loss Lo, we have left all, and have followed thee. Jesus answered, There is no man that hath left house, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake, and the gospels but he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time and in the world to come eternal life. Mark 10 28-30 The principles of this world, and those of our Lord are widely different. The world is set on grasping all it can accumulation, self-aggrandizement, the piling up of fortunes, the gradual or speedy climb up the ladder of fame, the gathering of hosts of friends. Looking after number one is the readiest way of expressing this principle of life. But it is unsatisfactory and disappointing. The soul which is the center of its own circumference is doomed to realize that there are more forfeits than prizes, more bitterness than success, more dark hours than bright ones. On the other side, Christ's principle of life is to give, to trust, to bless. His measure must be always pressed down and running over. The cloak must follow the coat, the second mile must be gladly thrown in with the first. To be willing to surrender all for the sake of others, is the ordinary claim of the king on those who own him as their lord. In every age there have been thousands who have gladly accepted this as their rule of life. Peter and the rest of the apostles were the leaders of a host which no man can number, who have left all to follow Jesus. He had nowhere to lay his head, and they have been homeless, wandering in the world, with no settled abiding place, he was poor and they have gone amongst their fellows, saying, Silver and gold have we none, but such as we have we give. But how great has been their reward! Before we can understand what Christ is willing to do for us, there must be not only a taking hold, but a letting go. We must step out from the boat, and withdraw our hand from it. It is even good, like St. Paul, to need all things, since by faith we come to possess all. Read the wonderful series of paradoxes to which he gives utterance in 2 Corinthians 4. The Lord promises eternal life as the crown of all. When we kneel at the cross, and see Jesus as our own Savior, we have eternal life, but we cannot realize all it implies until this mortality is swallowed up of life. Prayer Thou hast called us to minister and witness, to go amongst men as our Savior went, bearing in our hands the bomb of Gilead. May we not be disobedient to this heavenly vision. Amen.